Today's read aloud is um, called Ish, written and illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. We were lucky enough to see Peter H. Reynolds do a uh, book talk at Joaquin Miller Elementary School two years ago. I love his books. I hope you enjoy this one too. There's his um, title page, Ish. Ramon loved to draw. Anytime, anything, anywhere. Looks like he's drawing at nighttime. He's drawing garbage cans. And he's drawing when he's sitting on the... Mm -hmm. Oops, that page did not turn very well. <laughs> One day, Ramon was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother, Leon, leaned over his shoulder. Oh, there he is. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? He asked. Can you hear him chuckling? Ramon could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. <gasps> Uh-oh. Looks like he tipped over the vase. Leon's laughter haunted Ramon. He kept trying to make his drawings look right but they never did. Do you notice what, what he did with the word right? He put it in quotes like, right, or right. Hmm. And look at all those drawings that he's done and crumpled up. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Ramon put his pencil down. I'm done. Oh. These pages are very sticky. <laughs> Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Ramon sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Ramon raced after Marisol, up the hall, and into her room. Boy, she sounds like she's a pesky little sister, isn't she? Oh, poor Ramon. He's got a mean big brother and a pesky little sister. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled gallery. Look at her room. Where did she get all of those crumpled pieces of art? And look what she's doing here. She's hanging up the one that she saw Ramon crumple. This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Ramon said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she explained. Hmm. Vase-ish. <laughs> vase-ish? Ramon looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's walls and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look-ish he said. 
There he is with his sister Marisol looking at all of his paintings and drawings. Ramon felt light and energized, thinking Ishley allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines quickly springing out without worry. Look at that. Oh, I wonder if he's got his feeling back of wanting to draw anywhere, anytime, anything. Ramon once again drew and drew the world around him, making an ish drawing felt wonderful. Oh, look at him. He filled his journals, tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, sun-ish. Hmm. Are you noticing something? Ramon realized he could draw ish feelings too. Peace ish, silly ish, excited ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem ish. Let's see what his poem says. Ponder, pond, ponder. Dream, yonder. Pond, pond. Yond, yond. Gleam, wander. Ramon. That certainly is poem-ish. Oh, and that one's hard to... <laughs> Thanks for being patient. One spring morning, Ramon had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. Take a look. Take a close look at that picture. Notice what it looks like when Ramon is savoring that moment. That beautiful spring morning. Do you see his face? It's smiling just a little. His eyes are closed and he's just there. Savoring, enjoying, loving being in the sun. And Ramon lived ishfully ever after. There he is. And that, oops, there's an end page. Oh. <gasps> the end ish. Isn't that a great story? When I first heard the name of that book, Ish, and I started listening to the book and reading the words, I wasn't sure where it was going. But when I got to the middle, I thought, oh, this is a great book, especially for someone who maybe doesn't think they can draw very well, or maybe doesn't think they can sing very well, or anything else. And if they do a little bit, if they do an ish amount, maybe, maybe that's enough. I hope you enjoyed my reading of Ish.